Hey everyone, Elle here. So I am actually supposed to be doing booty right now. I got my Unisart on and everything and stuff. Um, but I wanted to get on and talk about this. Um, I wanted to talk about dew points, humidity, and using humectants on your natural hair and also your skin um, during summer, spring, winter, fall, whatever, um, because it's still a question that I get a lot um, regarding the difference between humidity and dew point. A lot of people think that they're the same thing and they are not. So humidity is a relative measure. Um, it basically depends on the temperature and um, I believe dew point actually also comes into play and it's this very long, boring uh, <laughs> equation in order to get humidity. But dew point is an actual absolute measure of how much water vapor is in the air. So when you're thinking of what products to use and how much like moisture is going to be in the air or if you're going to use glycerin and if it's going to make your hair dry or too moisturized, uh, dew point is a much more accurate measure to look at rather than humidity. Like a lot of people think that because they live in a hot climate, it's going to be dry, but the dew point will actually be very optimal or you can live in a place where it's cooler and you can still have an optimal dew point or you can live someplace like I live in, on the East Coast and the dew point will be in the single digits sometimes during winter, which is why I don't like to use glycerin on my hair during that time because it's going to dry my hair. It's gonna suck that moisture out of my hair. Um, basically, humectants work in a way where they bring moisture into your hair, but then if there isn't enough moisture in the air, it kind of like sucks it out, which kind of sucks <laughs> because, I mean, none of us want that to happen, right? Here comes my dog. Hey, baby. I should have just done this on live, right? Um, but basically, so I know um, optimal dew points are usually around 30 degrees to 50 or 60, um, if it's usually above 60, that's when you start to get too much moisture in the air. Anything under 30 is going to start to get kind of dry. Um, so for instance, I was looking up some of the weather information today and let's talk about a place where we always think is dry. Okay, Vegas, right? Um, so I looked up the temperature in Vegas. It was like 101 degrees, which is like my kind of like weather. I'm like, oh my God, 100 degrees, I wanna to go to Vegas. Uh, but the dew point was around 26, which is dry, but it's actually not that dry. Um, I mean, you could probably get away with using glycerin in that specific climate because it's a little drier than I would like it to be, but it's not going to be detrimental to your hair, like drying it out a ton, like if the dew point is seven. And during winter, we definitely had dew points of seven and it was freaking terrible. It was like so dry and I wouldn't dare put anything that was a humectant on my face because if I did when I went outside, I just felt like it was just, oh, it was just so horrible feeling. So when I say in spring and summer, um, or I say in spring that I can use more humectants, but not really in summer because there's a shift in our weather. And right, like right now, our dew point is 48, but I think last week our dew point was like 76 because it was raining a lot. Um, and also that has to do with like precipitation in the air and all that, and I'm not gonna get too nerdy with it. Um, but it definitely fluctuates more in spring. In summer, a lot of the time, it's just high the whole time. So I don't really like to use glycerin um, during that time either. So usually if I'm gonna use glycerin in my hair, it's going to be in the milder seasons, like spring or fall. Um, we have very extreme seasons where I live. It's kind of annoying. When I used to live in LA, I didn't have that much of an issue with it because our dew points were pretty standard. They were pretty optimal um, all the time. The weather in LA is like pretty much always mild. But then if you would go to the desert sometimes, if you go to the valley, um, the dew points would drop drastically because you were in a much drier climate. And I used to, and I figured this out, when I did like a week experiment using glycerin um, on my hair because I used to use this Carol's Daughter, it was the black vanilla leave-in conditioner. And when I was just in like LA proper, my hair would feel amazing and it would be great on my hair and my hair felt all soft. But then if I went someplace else, my hair would get super, super dry. And I was like, what? I was like, why is this spray making my hair so dry? And I realized um, that glycerin was the second ingredient. And I realized that my hair functioned 
much better when I was when I stopped using humectants unless I was measuring the dew point and sometimes I don't really feel like checking the dew point every day so for me just using more products that aren't heavy in humectants just make my hair routine easier and make it so I don't need to check dew points every day um I think that's pretty much it but yeah like same thing with skincare I don't I use more products that have glycerin like right now. Sometimes when I use them in summer, I feel like my face is too sticky. Um, in winter, I feel like my face is too dry. So it's just important to you know, know that kind of stuff. Um, honey is another really popular humectant. And to me, at least like how my hair functions, it's not as strong as glycerin. Glycerin is just kind of like bratty to me. So I really don't use it that much overall, but it just, depends um but if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comments this is like i don't know i'm always like the do the do like the first thing i ask people if they're like my hair is doing this if they like ask me for hair advice i'm like what's your dew point like what type of climate do you live in and someone's gonna say hi hey scruffy ew his breath stinks um but anyway yeah that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to say and yeah, so these Bantu nuts, um, I am using the Dew Moose Death. That is the next thing that is up for review. And these have been in my hair since Sunday. It is now Thursday. I think they're finally dry, but I'm not doing anything tonight. So I'm not going to take them down and ruin my hair so I can go to the gym in the morning. Um, but anyway, yeah, so stay tuned for that. And like I said, if you have other Target products, that you want me to review. I know I got some from the main choice. I got two Alakay Naturals stylers. Um, someone asked for those, so I did get a couple of stylers from them. And what else did I get? What else, what else, what else? I think that's it. I used the Dew Conditioner as well, and that was excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, if you want a full review, definitely let me know, but oh my gosh, smells great, slip for days, loved it. Uh, but yeah, so I will talk to y'all later. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day. All right, bye.